Hello guys, welcome to Hadoop Tutorial Series Part 2. In this tutorial, we will see how to add a new node to an existing Hadoop cluster. Please watch Part 1 before referring to this tutorial. On the left hand side, you will see the environment details which we are referring from the Part 1 series. In this tutorial, we are having three nodes which is a multi node cluster node 1, node 2, node 3. example.com. Here we are going to add node 4 which is node4.example.com Below are the steps you need to follow for adding a new node to the cluster Check the host is up and reachable on the network Set the host name and also update all the host etc files in all the nodes in the cluster Stop IP tables and disable SSLinux Set a passwordless SSH from Ambari to the new node Configure local repository for installation or downloadation of the packages NTP server configuration for time to be sync, install Java and configure Java home, add the new host using Ambari visa. Let's proceed with the steps starting from the one. Let's try to ping the particular IP address of the new host and make sure it is reachable on the network. So as you can see, I'm able to ping the IP address of the new host. Let's try to log in to the server Make sure you have super user credentials for logging. After logging, make sure you check the hostname. If that has not been already set, you need to set it. Make sure the hostname and hostname-f command should display the same hostname. If you didn't get the output of hostname-f, it seems that you have not set the particular host entries in etc host file. You need to modify the etc host file and let add the entry into the etc host so in this case i will add the etc ho new, ho new host entry into the node 1 and let's populate this node 1 etc host file to all of the server so just scp this etc host from node 1 to node 2 node 3 and node 4 Once you are done, just log in to node 4 again and make sure the etc host file is updated. So you can find the updated entry into the etc host file which is 192.168.56.104 that is node 4. Just make sure you have IP table service stopped or the firewall is disabled. You can make sure using service IP table status. So if you can see, I do have the, some firewall rules in place as my IP tables is running. I can stop this IP tables using service IP table stop. Make sure you stop or disable the IP tables using check config command so that once on boot, your IP table service is not going to be started automatically. Let's try to disable the SLNX. So you can modify the file etc sysconfig SLNX. Uh, you can make the default entry and forcing to disabled to save the file this will need a restart of the system to take an effect so once the system is back you can try to ping you can try to log into ssh using that node and you can make sure the linux is disabled using se status command Let's proceed with the third step of fourth step with setting up the passwordless SSH. Before having a passwordless SSH setup, make sure your new node has a directory called .ssh and the permissions are set to 700. If that is not existing, make sure you make create a mkdir, a new directory and set the permission accordingly. Let's log into node 1 and copy the existing authorize underscore keys which is a public key to the new node so this time it is going to ask me for the password because i do not have passwordless ssh setup once you copy this authorize underscore keys files it is the next time it is not going to ask you for the password you can make sure by doing an ssh to the new node from node 1 so as you can see we are able to successfully log into the new host let's proceed 
with the fifth step which is configuring of local repository so we do have already a existing centos repository which is a local centos os repository on node 1 which is in etcm.repos.d we will try to copy this repo to a new node you can do scp centos.repo and the host name or the ip address of the new node once you have copied this file just log into the new node or go to the new node and make sure your host uh, etc yum.repos.d centos.repos is updated moving to the ntp configuration on uh, node 1 we are considering our local ntp server which we need, we are using uh, in this case we are using a local ntp server so on the node 4 will be acting as an agent we will try to install the package which is ntp you might have existing centos repos by default after installation which are already created you need to move this default repos which are pointing to the internet uh, to a temporary file so in my case i will move the centos repo to temp and i will make sure i do have only a file called centos.repo which is pointing to the local repository once done you can issue again yum install ntp command to make sure you are able to download and install the ntp package Just modify the file vi in etc ntp.com. Remove the default entries for the server which has point to the internet. And I will just add an existing entry or my local server entry which is uh, one node one docs example.com which is my local ntp server. And just save and exit from this file. Just try to restart the ntp and you can check the status of the ntp server synchronization using ntpq-p command make sure you are able to see the local ntp server name or host name over here make sure the star sync signifies that you are being in sync with the ntp server make sure the java is installed you can check using java command if it is not going to display any output it's default means the java is not installed you can install the java using yum install java in my case i will have java 1.8 which is already installed on the cluster and rest of the nodes so i will by default install java 1.8 make sure you have java version same to be synced on all of the cluster installing a different version of java on the different nodes or other nodes of the cluster will leads to a problem so you can check the java version using java space hyphen version command once everything is set up now let's proceed adding the new node using ambari wizard uh, my ambari server is running on node1.example.com on the default port 8080 the default login credentials are admin admin after login just click on the host actions add a new host to the cluster specify the new host which is node4.example.com you can just copy the private key from node1 which is ssh.ssh uh, slash id underscore rsa I'll just copy this key and put into the host registration information tab make sure here you i'm going to use root as an ssh account for this user click register and confirm once the registration is successful you can see the status as a success it will try to check for any potential issues just click on that i see there is a default issue with the transparent huge pages but it is not going to a blocking for my installation as of now i will proceed with it i will select this data node and node manager to be installed on the cluster and this node will be uh, not acting as a client click on next I will let it be default configuration. Make sure uh, in your case, uh, in my case, I am just pointing to the local repository. If you are using internet, just make sure your repositories are correct. Click on deploy. This will start the installation. It will download the packages and install and start the particular services. Once the services are started, you will see a massive success. Click on next and complete. 
the new node will be reflecting in the host path which is node4.example.com if you want to see the components which are deployed on the node you can click on the components you can go back to the dashboard and see the data node and node manager counts has been increased from 3 to 4 thanks for watching this video stay tuned for upcoming videos happy hadoop